a major announcement from former L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva. He is running for the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. He broke the news with me in this exclusive interview earlier tonight. What brings you here? Well, tomorrow we're going to announce publicly that we're going to launch a race to for the 4th District Supervisor for the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. Former L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva announcing his campaign to challenge incumbent Janice Hahn for the L.A. County Board of Supervisors 4th District. He says his decision to run for the board he was often at odds with during his tenure as sheriff came easy. The county government is responsible for the health, safety and welfare of all the county residents. And in that regard, the board has failed miserably. All you have to do is look at the news every day. You're assaulted by images of violent crimes, smashing, grab robberies, senseless, wanton violence. The Han name is really an institution in, in L.A. You know this. The building where the, the supervisors is is named after her father. What is your strategy to win? Well, one thing for sure is she is no Ken and Hong. Because when he was serving as supervisor, that was a time of civility in county government, of balance. Today, they are so far to the left of center that no one can even recognize them. They do not represent the will of anyone, much less the residents of the 4th District. So we're going to bring this back to the middle. What is your constituency? Is it big enough? Is there evidence that it is big enough to actually win an election? I think my constituency includes everyone who actually cares about county cares about the fact that they live in fear, care about the fact that homelessness continues to impact their daily lives. They care about corruption in county government. If elected, Villanueva would be working with Sheriff Robert Luna, who unseated him 61 to 39 percent in November. Villanueva says he's prepared. I'm going to basically force a hand of both the sheriff and the other members of the Board of Supervisors. We're going to have an informed public that's going to know what's happening in government. And I will let the public know exactly what is happening so they can assess how credible and how responsible all these elected officials are when they're carrying out their duties. The 4th District, recently redrawn, stretches from Torrance and Palos Verdes Estates to Norwalk, Whittier, and La Habra Heights. Villanueva is banking on those new district lines. The district is now majority Latino district. So the whole demographics of the district have changed considerably. Heavily Democratic. Yes. Are you still registered as a Democrat? I'm a registered as a Democrat. Villanueva also is aware Han would likely win all the major Democratic endorsements, including from L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. Which actually mean absolutely nothing. Because all you have to do is look around you, every single voter, how safe do you think you are? It all starts at the top, and unfortunately right now, the Board of Supervisors has failed time and time again, but they just rely on being the 800-pound gorilla that, you know, no one can touch them, so their decisions cannot be challenged. It's time to challenge them. When this news breaks, it's going to be a big deal around town. Are mm -hmm. you ready for it? Oh, I'm ready for it. question is, are they ready for it? Villanueva will make his public announcement tomorrow. We will be there when he does. Christine, of course, the primary is in March, general election, November of 2024. He has been with you a number of times on the 6 p.m. news after losing the sheriff's race. Did you see this coming? I did think that there was going to be an announcement one way or the other. Wasn't sure what office he was going mm. to be seeking. He said that it was an easy decision knowing what our county looks like yeah, currently. Very interesting.